Tubi is the ultimate free streaming movie service with over 20 million users on 25 different devices, and here to navigate what's available on Tubi this August is the geek bomb herself, Maud Garrett. Maud! Jeff! How's your morning, Maud? I'm so good, how are you? I see you're very active on Twitter already. So uh, you liked my Hurt Locker geek bomb meme I made for you? <laughs> Hurt Locker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a real complex person, Maud. You know, I put a lot of time into that meme, so I'm glad you liked it. Did you do that? Yes, I did that. I am just so talented. That's amazing. No, you shouldn't have. Well, let's talk free movies. Let's talk Tubi for August. You've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood from director Quentin Tarantino. And in that movie, uh, Brad Pitt's on the roof changing an antenna, a t television antenna, and he takes his shirt off. Well, this month on Tubi, we have Thelma and Louise, where Brad Pitt take takes off his shirt, too. So we've come full circle now. I have seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I love how split everyone is over it. Whether they're, they're going, the nostalgia's fantastic, Quentin's storytelling is amazing, or whether you're like me and wondering if a two hour and 41 minute movie should be made. I don't think that was an accident. I think Quentin Tarantino knows symbolism of Hollywood and iconic moments like that. Because yeah, you're right. Thelma and Louise, 1991, Ridley Scott with Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon. That was Brad Pitt's breakout role. He plays this mm, cheeky thief who's, you know, one of the con artists around there but yeah he doesn't spend long with his shirt on and not that anyone complained then it launched his career but the fact that you know he's back in that same state 25 plus years later that's good filmmaking also in August on Tubi is Four Weddings and a Funeral, one of the greatest romantic comedies of all time but it's also now a brand new series that's been updated for 2019. Yeah, and I don't think not, not many people know that. I mean, I was brought up on this classic movie because my mum thinks it's one of the best rom-coms of all time, and we burnt out that VHS. Uh, but this is basically where Hugh Grant became the king of the rom-com. He pairs up with Andy McDowell, who we know from Groundhog Day, and he plays a bachelor who's basically been avoiding love the whole time until he meets her time and time again, and he's starting to realize that fate is playing a part. But I think after that movie, he was hired to do so many more rom-coms. We know Notting Hill, um, Song and Music, or that movie that had a very ambiguous title with Drew Barrymore. They, he, he was paired up with a lot of leading ladies, but I think the best one was with Renee Zellweger in um, Bridget Jones's Diary and the follow-up, which is available on TV, The Edge of Reason with Colin Firth too. Now, I'm embarrassed to say I have never seen any of the Bridget Jones Diary movies, and I think it's because I can't stand her accent. Is Am I being too petty? I was actually talking about this when American people try to do the British accent and then when British people do the American accent. I mean, I think it's a lot easier for Aussies and Brits to do the American accent because we were raised on American movies and television. I mean, how many people don't know that Tom Holland, Spider-Man, is not American, he's British? And the same for Superman, Henry Cavill, he's British as well. I actually interviewed them about that and they were saying that, yeah, a lot of the younger fans have no idea that they're not American. So you're not alone there. One of the most powerful movies I've ever seen is uh, Ed Norton in American History X, which is available on Tubi this month. Uh, I, that movie kind of changes you when you watch it. And uh, it's sad to say that it's still more relevant than ever. Isn't that the saddest thing ever? But you're right, yes. I really do believe that everyone should watch this movie. It's one of those movies that's very uncomfortable. Uh, it's very confronting, but it really does address a lot of issues, like you said, that we're still experiencing today. Uh, Edward Norton does an incredible job as a skinhead Nazi who um, develops a, a d huge bout of racism because his father was killed by a black man. And then he systemically, basically, grows up in a system where he becomes a Nazi. and his very impressionable younger brother follows in his footsteps. And it's like this time, you know, after he does time and he has a different perspective about different races, you know, he tries to bring that back into a new life and it's probably a bit too late for his brother. Agree with you, super, super heavy, but mandatory viewing. And the fact that you can watch it for free on Tubi is amazing. Also on Tubi is one of the most bizarre films I've ever seen, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Uh, Chuck Barris of The Gong Show, he was also a, a secret agent for the government, and I had the pleasure of doing that junket in 2002 also. Wow. I, I noticed that about that film. It just really flew under the radar, and I love that Tubi.tv is harnessing especially those kind of movies, one that didn't get a lot of attention when it first came out but still deserved to be watched. And if people don't want to pay for it, then good thing that it's free. 
Okay, Maude, we're getting into all the fall film festivals. Are you heading off to Toronto or Telluride? Where are you going next? Um, I don't think so, which is devastating. Um, Telluride's one of the smaller ones, but I think that's where the hardcore fans and like lovers of film usually find themselves. Um, and then Toronto, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every single year. That's where you're going to find usually the, um, the big end of year movies, if not the beginning of next year. The Oscar buzz and bait movies are usually shown there as well. So uh, I think that was where Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was first shown. It was at Toronto last year. So a lot of people have been, you know, they've had seen this movie months ago and they've had to keep tight lip about some of the twists and turns that take place in that movie. Now, Ma, uh, to be serious for a moment, uh, I wanted to ask you a question that I've been seeing in all the tabloids and, and TMZ, and uh, we're getting a lot of, lot of buzz on this on the internet. What is your obsession with pineapple? I am one of the few people on this planet that is an advocate of pineapple on pizza, and I will die on that hill, even if it's alone. But I recently did an allergy test, <laughs> and it turns out that I'm 99% allergic to pineapple. <laughs> so even though all I want is pineapple on pizza, it's not good for me. Ugh. All right, I confess, your best friend in the world, Alicia Malone, I spoke to her recently and I told her to give me some dirt on you. And she said, you know, ask her about her obsession with pineapple. Really? I nearly got a tattoo of pineapple on me. So imagine getting that and then being told you're allergic to it. Woo, narrow miss. <laughs> oh, Alicia was so funny. She's like, yeah, what's her obsession with pineapple? It's, it's ridiculous. She, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have to get her back somehow. Ask her about her obsession with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Oh yeah, everyone knows Alicia loves Jake Gyllenhaal. That's that's extreme public knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he brings it up now in, instead in the interviews instead of her bringing it up every time, which is great. That's progress, right? I feel like the wedding is days away. Maud, it's always great to talk to you. Thank you so much for telling us what's on Tubi, streaming for free in August. Thank you so much, as always, Jeff. Take care, okay? Enjoy Vegas. Available on 25 devices with over 20 million users, Tubi is the ultimate in free streaming movie service. Make sure you check it out. And for more reviews and interviews, surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. I'll see you next time.